Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here, 27 March. Last three days of the month and the quarter. Let's take a quick look uh, at Kiwi here. Got smoked last night. RBNZ said uh, there's room for more rate cuts. Bang. How do you like them apples? 1.5% down at 68.03. Um, this, uh, this fucker is going to go a lot lower now. This line is going to be a lot of people have drawn this line. Should be a small bounce at 67.66. But look, uh, if you're in Europe, you can't really, with all great sense, just take a swing at this at 68.03 kind of want to look for some kind of a bounce but as you can see there's there's just no no bounce uh, tricky this obviously uh, 68.30 between 68.30 and 68.50 maybe maybe your shot but um, this uh, this is going to continue lower that was quite a dovish RBN said. We don't have a dog in this fight, so we're just watching for now. Um, we'll maybe take a look at this up at 68.30 if we get up there. Um, the cousin of Kiwi Aussie also hit. Uh, we're bearish Aussie. We've been bearish Aussie for a while. We do think 70 cents is going to trade this week because of... Um, just general risk off towards the end of the week um, so this might be a good time just to get short Aussie uh, again don't want to rush into this at 7103 but maybe any little bounce up to 7120 because um, as Kiwi continues to get crushed Aussie will just kind of join in sympathy so keep an eye on this very very dovish uh, RBN said. Let's go to crude. Uh, you saw on Twitter where we sort of made this call here. 60, 60, 40 is now a double top high. We like crude lower. This thing is slippery and super tricky. Um, I hate trading it. I use it as more of a bellwether to trade other stuff uh, than trade it, but pretty straightforward here uh, if you like crude lower the double top is in uh, and if you're a break trader uh, 60 up through 60 40 uh, it's going to be a break trade there'll be stops up there um, including our own so this is a, just a key just a very key level now so 60 40 so 38 was the high yesterday uh, 39 was the high on the 21st as far as I'm concerned, we're totally overextended on crude. I don't know why we're up here uh, in this moderately risk-off uh, environment. Keep an eye on it. If you don't want to trade it, I fully understand that because it's patently insane. Um, but just as a risk, a bellwether for risk for S and P's and for dollar yen and for euro yen, you got to keep an eye on crude. Uh, if you do end up getting long up there, just keep in mind the 200 days, 61, 67. But we, we are short crude. Let's go to Euro Yen. Down to 26 last night. Of course, short Euro Yen looks, uh, looks, looks correct. We saw this sort of retrace is now broken. 70 has been the high been down to 20 we expect this lower we got Draghi today so this is gonna be he's gonna really uh, set the tone for euro yen course short uh, is the way to go try and get yourself into a good average because you know if, if he's hawkish um, that will obviously override this candlestick work that we're doing which tells us to be short so candles are telling us short uh, but obviously Draghi trumps everything, so got to be nimble. Uh, he'll he'll 
be on the turntable in about an hour and 45 minutes. So uh, get yourself a cup of coffee and get ready for that. Euro, expecting a uh, dovish Draghi, broke through the recent lows. Here we are, uh, 112.60. Obviously, the big point here is, is 111.77. If you look at this in the bigger picture, we're just in the middle of the range here, right? So, we like it lower. We haven't been trading it as aggressively. We've been using Euro Yen as, as our sort of Euro proxy lower. Um, but this will be just driven by Draghi today. So, put on your hard hat. Get ready for uh, some action. That's going to be, it's going to be a wild one when Draghi comes on, um, 9 a.m. Swiss time. What else is out there? S and P's stubborn. It's the best way to describe them. We were down there at 08 yesterday. It was looking pretty good for the Bears tactical book. Um, as we put on Twitter, we, you know, we were trading this on the short side. We took the money. You know, we, we sold 28s, 30s, 32s. We bought 22s, 20s, 19s. Um, we are core short in the uh, directional sort of medium term book. Uh, we're going to play this same game today. Um, we'll be sellers of S&Ps. The band today looks like it's going to be sort of 32 to 38, 28, 32, 28, 38. Uh, we'll be on the short side, trading it on the short side. Uh, and then if we get news while we're short, we'll just manage it accordingly. Um, so yesterday you saw we're selling dollar yen, we're selling euro yen, we're selling crude, we're selling ES. You can't just sit with all of it in the tactical book. The reason it's a tactical book is you want to earn cash every day in it um, and that cash will smooth over the returns of the directional book which is the book where you'll get paid more bigger amounts um, but the tactical books important and you just have to be nimble and really marry nothing in that book and when we're on Twitter oftentimes we're most of the time we're talking about tactical trades today same same strategy, uh, 32 to 38. We're going to uh, bang out some S and P's, trade it on the short side. Euro yen, same thing. Core short, but a little bit more careful with this because of Draghi. Aussie will be selling some rallies. Kiwi will be looking to sell some rallies. Crude, uh, we're we're short. This of course is in the uh, directional book. We're looking for a much bigger move probably down to 52 cents so you know eight bucks lower uh, which is sort of a 10 10 to 12 percent move anyway I'll leave you with that um, get yourself a cup of coffee get your head right uh, for Draghi it's gonna be important good luck out there guys make some dough